joined now from Chamonix by Robert Pritchard, an expert on cybersecurity for the Royal United Services Institute. Uh, Mr. Pritchard, thanks for joining us. Just first of all, give us a brief explanation of how ransomware works. I mean, the, the clue's in the title, but how complicated, how sinister is it? Uh, so ransomware works by encrypting all of your data and encryption means, I mean, we use encryption every day of our lives, whether we know it or not, to protect data. Um, but, uh, you know, that protection can be turned against you if you don't have the, the password or the key to unlock the data. And that's essentially what ransomware does. It encrypts your data and you, the victim, do not have the key to unlock it. Um, and, I mean, it's not sinister. This kind of thing is new. Probably these kind of, we've been seeing ransomware attacks like this for five or six years at least although it's evolved, the, how they work has changed. Um, but it's nothing that um, companies shouldn't be expecting these days and, and shouldn't be prepared to be facing. How common are these kinds of attacks? I know a lot of people probably don't report them, but you often hear about you know, average people getting these, uh, these ransomware attacks where they're asked to pay a sum that is significant but affordable, and they attack lots of people at the same time. How big is it, how often is it that they go after big businesses like this? Really common, really common. It happens at hundreds, probably even thousands of businesses every day. It's really, really common, massively prevalent. Um, and I think probably the days of people attacking individuals, I hear about that much less now. I think that's kind of changed because the criminal gangs realize that individuals don't have much money, whereas they can hold companies to ransom for hundreds of thousands of pounds. So, but it is really, really common. And that's a key distinction, isn't it? You're talking about criminal gangs. This is not like one guy in a bedroom somewhere. This, this is a whole organization in a lot of a lot of ways or maybe even governments it's, a, it's criminal it's all it's organized crime it's a new face of organized crime um and and it's it's very complex it's a very murky world obviously it's not like these places have org charts um so there, there's people who write the software there's people who sell it as services there's people who use it for different purposes um so yeah yeah but it's organized it's organized and done at scale Goodness, it sounds like there's a whole economy around this. I mean, you must wonder why these businesses are not prepared. They must see this threat coming, surely. Yeah, they do, I'm sure. And they, they're not prepared simply because they bury their heads in the sand. I think people don't like spending money on their IT infrastructure. It's a cost. Um, and if they can do it for less money, they will. Um, and so they, they don't spend money on robust infrastructure. And then every now and again, this happens and maybe they regret it. OK, Robert Pritchard, uh, cybersecurity expert, thank you very much for joining us. So worrying for TravelX, obviously very worrying for the customers and still no real information, official information uh, being released by TravelX. But if these hackers are to be believed, we understand that time really literally is running out here.